Okay, this is Skyway Funds Module 4, Case Problem 3, and today we are dealing with charts. So, as I do on every assignment, I click on that little triangle up here, and I unmerge cells. And I take away color. And I change text to all black, even if it doesn't look like I need to, if that's what I do. I'm going to leave the heading because we've got charts and different things can happen with headings. We'll, we'll deal with the heading later. I'm um, going to click through all of these. I'm going to take the color off. And look, we've got merged cells, none merged cells. on every sheet. Even if it's not highlighted, I'm unmerging cells. It's just a habit I got into. Actually, I'm going to try something else. Let's see, if I hold down the shift key and I click on these last three sheets, Maybe we can unmerge them all together. Let's see. Unmerge cells. I don't know if that had any effect, but we'll see. Take all the color off. And make all the text black. Okay. I should have taught you that before. That's what we do. Um, that's how we select multiple sheets. Or we can just go to this end while holding shift and select them all. Let's see, let's unselect them all. Okay, there's that one. Now if you hold down shift and go all the way to the end and click that, now you selected all the sheets. One more time just for good measure. A little trick. Tells off, black's on, good. Now let's start the assignment. Make these bold. Take off all the borders. Again, lines are distracting when they're unnecessary, and they're not necessary here, in my opinion. You're free to leave them on if you so choose. It's, again, professional business formatting. Lines can be distracting from the data, but it's your choice. Oh, I need to unselect all the sheets, or I would have made all that, that change to all the sheets. Let's see. Looks like I didn't have any negative effect by doing that. Oh, I do there. Okay. Now we should be good. Okay. Filling in name, all the standard stuff. The book says things about putting in the names of people in the scenarios. That's not how I was taught. I was taught to put my own name in, so I'm doing that. As I've said before, I like the long date, so I'm just going to type today's date. Let's see what happens. Okay, so... I don't think we'll have any more uh, instructions regarding the date. I think we've covered that. The textbook, though poorly written, and I know it's confusing, just wants to teach you skills, and that skill's been covered. So we're just going to move on to the first instruction that is in the overview worksheet. Now, because this deals mostly with charts, I'm not naming any cells. I don't think we have any formulas in this assignment to worry about, so I don't think named cells are going to be helpful. I don't suggest doing work just for the sake of doing it, and since it won't be helpful, there's no need to add that extra step. We're going to select B15 through B19, which is this employee data right here. 
and we are going to add green data bars. Okay, so on instruction number three, we're going to add data bars to um, this data. I'm going to make the screen a little bit smaller. Let me make sure I've got everything recording here. And I'm hitting, I'm holding down the Alt key and hitting Tab to switch between windows in case you didn't catch that hint before. Then we're going to go up here to Conditional Formatting, Data Bars. You're going to want Gradient Fill, and it says Gradient Fill Green. And we're actually, well, let's see, but we don't, we want to fix that, so we should have gone all the way down. And we'll go to Manage Rules, Current Selection. Um, I would say this worksheet, that's just what I always do. I'm not sure if I was taught that or I just do that. But there, we're going to edit the rule because we want to make maximum value 20,000. So the way we do that right here is maximum. And in order to be able to put a number in here, we have to go to number, actually to be able to control and put 20,000 in here.